Morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela with another edition of Notes on the News Feed, where I read to you headlines from my news feed and share with you my thoughts about the headlines. Um, so I'm Angela and the channel is Be Fabulous You. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and sticking around to see how we get from opening to closing. Welcome, welcome back, Fabulites. Um, so I'm seeing on the news, I don't see it on my news feed, that an Amtrak train derailed in near Tacoma, Washington. Um, and, um, it came onto the highway. There were passengers on the train. I don't know if there were any casualties yet. Um, I heard one um, person on local, local news say that it caught his attention because he's never seen an Amtrak on that, um, on that track uh, Amtrak train on that track before and he said I guess he's a truck driver or something he said I've done this route for over a year so it kind of caught my attention and it was going fast faster than me so I don't know what's up with that but um you know there it is and um you know just much peace to um everybody who's involved with that situation directly and indirectly and peace to us all okay Rob Lowe helps feed firefighters near his Monticello home. I think that's the California area. So I guess it's just, it's been, what, two weeks now? It's been it's a long time. This fire has just been continuing. Or these fires, or I don't know, I think they care. I think there are four or five fires the last I heard. But yeah, um, Facebook will begin demoting engagement bait posts in newsfeed. And engagement bait posts, I guess, are those posts that say, um, repost this if you're in Aries, or which one has to go? Sweet potato pie, peach cobbler, banana pudding, or whatever it is. I don't remember the third one because it's already gone. Probably red velvet cake because I don't do red velvet cake or none of that really. But anyway, um, so they'll be dem demoting those in the newsfeed. I don't even like to repost most of those because I feel like I'm I'm like uh I guess uncooperative. So when somebody is like repost this if you believe in love, I'd be like I believe in love, but you ain't going to get me to re you know repost and that don't mean I believe in you know so I don't but anyway, um that's just for those of you who are into that restaurateur shot to death outside his UWS lounge. I think it was in New York in the Bronx area. The man's name was Damien Ramirez. It was a Manhattan brew and vine shop. I think it was called or something like that. And I think the man had um, five children. So um, I don't know. That's, that's kind of all I know. But rest in peace and peace to the family. And, you know, I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, why it happened, and, you know, what the story is, if there is a story, if it was random, if it was, um, you know, deliberate, what happened. African smartphone growth rebounds in third quarter of 2017. Delight as power restored in Atlanta. That's at the Atlanta airport. I don't know if it was beyond the airport but i heard that the airport was out of power so a lot of people were stranded and it was like chaos i think that airport in atlanta is the largest one in the country why was there a power outage at the atlanta airport now i heard there was a fire in the basement i was thinking it was some digital warfare but you know i guess i'm like a conspiracy theorist stop angela Dozens die in clash between Ethiopian, Somalis, and Oromos. So they're two ethnic groups, and, um, you know, I guess there have been ongoing clashes. So this is some, you know, recent clash, and, and some people have made their transition. So peace to the people who have made their transition, peace to the region, um, peace to the dispute, whatever it is, just cooling energy all around, let it you know, dissipate and let let us all in our hearts be filled with love and compassion. <sighs> Why are we out here killing people, y'all? South Africa's ANC party leadership vote counting underway. You know, I feel kind of weird about the ANC because the person who was the president, who was the first black president, is sort of like our first black president here. Um, you know, some people are like, oh, Obama, you can't say nothing about Obama. And then some people are like, oh, Obama was, you know, he wasn't all of that. He was the, the arm of the government. I definitely think he was 
a part of an imperialistic government, which the United States of America is. But, um, yeah, so that's how um, Nelson Mandela was. Like, I think there are some people who are like, you can't say anything about Nelson Mandela. And then some people are like, when Nelson Mandela got into power, um, all of the white people kept all of the property and all of the good jobs and black people were in the same situation that they've been being in for the most part, except for there was a black president. And that's how some people felt in this country, too. So I can kind of relate and I kind of feel bad. Like when I started getting that perspective, it's kind of like, oh, I can't just be like Nelson Mandela. You know, I guess that's like how heroes are. You know, there's like people in humanity and in every situation, you know, it's not just black and white. There's gray and the same thing with people. The headline says Uber lands on Blackberry Messenger, confusing everyone. And I was kind of like, how did it confuse everyone? I know in this country, not very many people use BlackBerry or BlackBerry Messenger anymore, but in other parts of the world, they do. And the people who use it, it's not confusing to them. It makes sense to them, I would imagine. Um, they haven't been able to get access to Uber. They have other rideshare apps and stuff like that, but I didn't care for the headline. But anyway, Uber is out there in some places on BlackBerry Messenger, BBM. Even though I'm a BlackBerry girl, I've never been in the BlackBerry Messenger. Libyan port city mayor abducted and killed. Amazon faces record fine from French fraud watchdog. Saudi prince Ben Sal Salman was mystery buyer of $320 million house. He been, they, they, they got him attributed to a lot of ex very expensive, extravagant mystery buys. And he's the one that's like fighting corruption. He's the one that's fighting corruption, right? What a what a wine, what a wine. Twitter starts enforcing tougher anti hate rules. It it um I'm, I'm assuming that that means it's gonna be a crackdown. <laughs> <laughs> on black and brown people, it's going to be a, black, a crackdown on progressives. It's going to be a, a crackdown on uh, women. It's going to be a crackdown on poor people. That's what I'm assuming the, uh, the enforcing of tougher anti-hate rules is going to mean. Bangladesh funeral stampede leaves at least 10 dead. So it was some public officials funeral and they were serving food at the funeral. And so they say, I think a hundred men kind of like rushed into the area where the food was going to be served. But they had said there's going to be plenty of food for everyone. No need to rush. So is that like a commentary on hunger? Desperation? Rest in peace, um, people who made your transition and people connected to them here and in Libya. Um... Okay. Warmly Hotel, Washington, D.C.'s political neutral, neutral ground. Warmly, Warmly was a person, a black person in the hotel. It was his hotel. This fraud must stop. How a green Norwegian company is using climate change to exploit Ugandan villages. China hails first Antarctica flight for its tourists. Most people I read in the article get to Antarctica. They take a boat from Chile or somewhere in South or Central America. That's the most common way to get there. And then I guess some people go overland. And then now they have this flight from China. But you fly from China to South Africa. And I think it's like 14 hours to South Africa and then five more hours to Antarctica. But they were talking about the politics of China trying to get people more connected to the poles. And I guess China has their eyes on the North Pole and the South Pole, according to their 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 plans. Tavis Smiley takes his case to GMA. PBS made a huge mistake. He was on Good Morning America. He's been on Facebook. 
He's saying that he has dated people that he's worked with, but most people in the world have dated people that they've worked with. There is no policy at PBS that says that he cannot date people that he's worked with. He says that he has not um, dated anybody uh, against their will. He, um, he's, he, yeah. And I was kind of confused when that, when I first heard the announcement, they said, you know, he had relationships with people at his job, but it was kind of like, it wasn't like, you know, people are accusing him of rape or people are accusing him of exposing himself. Like I was kind of like, when I first heard the announcement, I'm like, he had relationships. Well, were they, what, what kind of, I mean, I don't understand why. So he's, you know, he ain't going down without a fight. Ex-wife of Lorenzen Wright charged with his 2010 murder. I don't, I don't know why I pulled that story. Indonesia recaptures U.S. citizen after Bali prison break. We talked about this last week. The person went over a wall. They hadn't been, they were in jail, but they had not been, you know, found guilty or given like a term or anything if they are found guilty. But they decided to leave. But I guess the Bali people got them. Indonesia got them, got them back. Hernandez announced winner of disputed Honduras election. Mumbai sweet shop fire kills 12 in India. And I think that I heard that the people who were killed lived in the shop. So they lived there and they worked there and they died there. What kind of environment was it? If, you know, I don't know that, but rest in peace and sorry to hear that. The business of being Santa involves a lot more than simply wearing a suit. 12 stretches you can use every day to stay flexible and fit at any age. Yes, stretch, stay flexible, stay fit. We are fit, we are flexible, we are strong, fit, and healthy. Netflix may run Watergate series developed by George Clooney. A psychologist explains how birth order affects your chances of success. A professor of medicine explains why he hasn't quit diet soda, but never drinks the regular kind. It read like a propaganda piece for me because we saw last week or the week before there was a story about how um, President Zero drinks a lot of diet soda. So then this person is like, well, you know, we know soda is bad for you, but diet soda is good for you. And I'm like, so the chemicals that y'all use to make the artificial, artificial sweeteners that sweeten the diet sodas are better for you than more natural things? Doc? Okay, it sounds like some bull to me. Australia's first same-sex wedding takes place. One of Trump's most vocal critics in the Senate has quickly turned into one of his best friends, and people are shocked. Lindsey Graham. I can't really keep all of these, these names and people straight, but um, politicians are... Politicians, you know, I don't know. What what do we expect? What have they been doing? The mysterious lives of the three kids who are believed to be Kim Jong-un. He's the leader of North Korea. He has a woman who they believe is his wife. They say that his father and maybe his grandfather has never been clear how many children um, he had. The person who's believed to be his wife, they say she's it makes a lot of public appearances, but there are times when she's disappeared. And um, at first the thought was she disappeared because she was out of favor, like maybe he disappeared her. But then the theory is that she had children during them, those times. And when Charles Barkley was there, he said he met one of the children. So it's sort of like he keeps it secret, but they say that his oldest son is a child. So that's who's likely to take over his second child is a daughter. And then the third child, the gender is sort of unknown, at least in this article. Um, and that he, they, this article also said that he probably had something to do with his half brother's killing. I don't know if you remember hearing about the two women who approached the guy in the airport and sprayed stuff on him. And then when um, the person died and the airport people are like, what's going on? They're like, oh, we were told we would get paid a hundred dollars and it was a reality joke and it was a prank. And um, they had sprayed murderation, like, you know, poison on him and killed him. And then later on, I also heard that, um, you know, they, they might have been in on the plot or the plan to kill this person. So that's, um, 
Kim Jong-un's brother, and they say that half-brother. So I guess maybe he's getting rid of the competition. And then they say that his sister has started being more involved with things so that in case something happens, the theory is that in case something happens to him before, um, you know, the child is old enough to take over, that she'll take over. Um... Oh my, super malaria is on the way. Um, that's what the article says, but it also kind of juxtaposes this idea of super malaria coming with a defunding of research and um, resources related to protecting the American public from things like super malaria. Uber secretly recorded phone calls with its employees without their permission, explosive letter claims. One NFL team executive reportedly called the Carolina Panthers investigation of their own owner a total scam. What's going on over at the NFL? Is it karma? Uber used former CIA officers posing as businessmen to collect trade secrets and other intel explosive letter claims. This explosive letter is just all in the, the headlines. California advises against keeping your phone in your pocket. They like, we don't know if it'll hurt you or not, but try to keep the phone off your body until we find out. Will African smart cities be a high-tech solution to the overpopulated megacities? Google won't show news from its sites that hide their country of origin. White House remains mum on number of high-ranking African-Americans in leadership positions after Omarosa's departure. I thought it was a funny headline, but when I looked in the article, I found out that the uh, 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 head medical doctor, the germ, uh, germ surgeon general, was black. Did y'all know that? Who he? Is he a doctor? Yeah, I need to research that. I don't know why. Taking two million photos of Obama. This is the, the White House photographer. He took two million photos. Why this U.S. woman is backing minority gun clubs. <laughs> Pentagon funded UFO identification program for five years. With, a participatory, with participatory budgeting, Live 6 takes a non-traditional approach to community engagement. Barry Sherman, family disputes reports of mystery double death in Canada. Some Toronto millionaire and his wife were dead. There's some theory out there that it's a murder-suicide and the family is like, we don't know, so stop saying stuff until we know. Did Tiffany Haddish's white co-author steal her shine with his controversial, controversial past? And post, if she got a ghostwriter on The Last Black Unicorn by Tiffany Haddish, why is he out talking? Like somebody pointed out, when President Zero, before he was President Zero, wrote a book on the art of the deal, nobody even knew that he had a ghostwriter. Well, people probably knew or theorized. But I'm just saying, we didn't meet the ghostwriter until he was running for president. That's like 5, 10, 20, 30 years later. This guy couldn't keep his mouth shut for two minutes? What kind of ghostwriter are you? loser and I guess also if you choose to have a, a white man I'm not saying that a black woman couldn't stab you in the back but I it kind of I kind of feel like dang you gotta you if you get if I get stabbed in the back I might as well be stabbed by a black woman because I'm gonna be trying to help somebody who I you know I'd rather get stabbed trying to be with my people than get stabbed trying to be with they people Miss Tiffany and I was just saying how I liked you I do like you. I feel bad, but I guess, you know, I don't know. St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. First fully integrated children's hospital in the South. So when I hear um, hospital, research hospital, I think of experimentation. So I think it's really interesting that it was the first integrated hospital because I'm sure they have done and are doing lots of experiments on the children and the black children and the po children. Because I've done fundraisers for St. Jude's at jobs that I work at. I think the children go there for free. NFL anthem protests week 15. A game of chicken raises the league stakes. It's kind of amazing how 
one person sitting down. He ain't make no press conference, no announcement. He was just sitting down, kneeling, whatever. And it's just continued to grow and escalate. And he hasn't really said very, very much about it. Hackers shut down plant by targeting its safety system. Japan wants to invest in Zimbabwe cybersecurity. So no sooner now that the Zimbabwean revolutionary president is out of the way, I'm like, okay, so now we're seeing all of this, you know, Japan is in. He probably didn't want to deal with Asia. You know, Asia, Asian countries are, are doing a lot in Africa. Some say doing the most in Africa. Some say recolonizing Africa or participating in the imperialism and colonialism that already exists. But they joining in. Everybody else been, but the Africans been getting their share, exploiting, taking advantage of. Let's do it too. Iran TV broadcast jailed doctor confessing to spying. Atlanta Hartsfield Airport power cut grounds flights. Thomas battle, fire battle continues in Santa Barbara, Monticello, as Twitter reacts. Jay-Z's Trayvon Martin docuseries sparks feud between Snoop Dogg and George Zimmerman, who is the murderer of little boy Trayvon Martin. Lebanon murder probe as British woman found dead. Chile election, conservative Piñera elected president. The athlete's village for the Pai Ing Chang Olympics is completed. Check out where the Olympians will be staying during the games. Why 2018's big food trend could come from West Africa. A fishing deal with China could be the reason North Korean ghost ships are flooding Japan. Commission on Sexual Harassment, formed by Bollywood heavyweight Anita Hill, will chair. Hollywood heavyweights, not Bollywood. Police shoot a lot more people than previously known. Weinstein derailed my career, Sorvino says after Peter Jackson claimed. San Francisco Aquatic Park shut over aggressive sea lions. We were just talking about the sea lions. And that's it. That was our my notes on the news feed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous. You like, share, comment, subscribe. We're still working on 200 subscribers, so you could be a charter subscriber. Are you already a charter subscriber? Thank you, Boo Boo. Today is the best day ever. You are the greatest. You're number one. So be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous. You. Be you. Be fabulous, be fabulous you. Be you, be fabulous, be fabulous you.